of this game here. He has been formally named the man of the match. France back to 15 with Esther Benes coming back on. The hack forward there from Ducalcon. It's a foot race. Back goes Iongi. Well gathered by the wing. Well, he's surrounded by blue jerseys. Driven back over his own try line. It's going to be a five metre scrum. So the pressure now being applied by France, but they really do need to make something happen. And let's look here at the French priority. The first priority is to get within seven points. That will take them to the quarterfinals. It won't spare them the embarrassment of defeat, but it will allow them to be able to put this behind them and look forward to the knockout stages. It has been a very grim night for French rugby, but all is not yet lost. Massive scrum for the French front five. You can imagine how Nordeke will want to keep this in, but he's made so much yardage. So Yashvili with the pudding. Well controlled. There's Harren Nordeke. They've got options left and right here. They're going to try and shove it all the way over the line. Well, when the scrum's gone up, I have no options. So Steve Walsh just explained there to Dimitri Yashvili, he had no option, he has to reset the scrum. It's such a fine balance here for Yashvili and Harren Ordeke. What decision do they make? They've got to back their eight. Turning the screw, getting a penalty or even a pushover try. But at the same time, when it's going forward like that, there's space everywhere. And really, you should get over from five metres out. You can imagine New Zealand with their strength of their runners, you definitely get over for a try, but the way that France have run, so lacklustre, they've got to keep it in the scrum. Two minutes remain. France has spent just, what, such a small portion of the time in the Tonga 22. There's Heron Nordeke again controlling it. What a climax in Wellington. They popped up again, and it's a scrummage, it's not a penalty. No, it's no penalty, they're staying in, all the back row are on. You can hear Latoui in there, spurring his suits on, look at him turning. Come on, guys, we can do this. This would be epic, the strength of all the props there. Yes, they were making yardage, but they didn't get penalised. They're holding them out. The French fans are demanding a penalty. Let's go. Well, of course they are, but there's no penalty there. Listen to them. Look at their eyes. Latoui, <laughs> that little laugh. He is so excited about this. Latoui actually enjoying the moment. We're into the final minute. France needs something here. They need the three points. The three points that will take them to the quarterfinals. And just watch the hit. France are winning the hit, and that is why they're slightly, and that decision was to go down. Now look at, he didn't want to stay up there. They've got to win the hit, Tonga, they can't let France dominate. Look at the support. The other guys that aren't involved really getting behind their team. Meanwhile, the clock continues to count. The Tongan flags are flying around the Cape tent, but it's not over yet. They've won the test match of Tonga, but can France seal their quarter-final qualification? There's Harren spinning. Could be a turnover. What a hit. Hands all over it. It's the final oh, play. Oh, he's given a penalty. Well, that will be it. The penalty has been awarded to France. And now they simply have to convert it and get out of town. Tranduk has put his hands on the ball and Dimitri Yashvili will just put this through the post. Or is he? It looks like they're going for a scrum. They're going for a scrum. It's unbelievable. What are they thinking? They've completely lost the plot. Well, words fail me. 
listen to listen to the chug of front eight. France can't win the match, even if they score a try. They've turned their back on the losing bonus point, which was so crucial. Trandu out to Mamaz, out to Anton Claire, and Claire has got in the corner, or has he? Well, Carlo Damasco is keeping his flag down. You sure? We're going to see this referred, and in terms of France's progression here to the knockout phase, this is crucial. One thing we can be certain of is that there has been a complete breakdown in communication.